guys, what's up? It's me, Omar from BuyMeAnIPhone.com, and uh, today I have a product that was sent to me free for review by Dexum, and it is the Dexum AV Dock Station. And it's basically a device that what you, you would use to uh, watch video on your, your plasma screen or your television uh, from your iPhone or iPod Touch. So it's a really interesting product. I'm going to give you guys a demonstration of how it works and basically tell you how my experience has been with the uh, Dexum AV Dock. So let's go ahead and switch over to close up camera and let's do that now. All right, guys, so here we have the AV Dock Station uh, with remote control from Dexum. I'm going to go ahead and open up the box and show you guys what comes inside of this. All right, guys, so here we have all the different pieces that come with the, uh, the Dexum AV Dock Station out, out of the box. Okay, so we have our dock right here, power dock with infrared using with the remote control. comes with an additional battery. You do have the wall charger and to, a, to USB, so you can use this to power the dock right here using the mini USB. To full size USB right here, and this is a this cord is not very long. It's probably about maybe three feet long, so it it won't give you too much distance from the uh, from your wall to where the AV dock is going to be sitting. So you may, if you have any other, uh, you know, lots. I'm sure you guys have tons of mini USB cords like myself. So if you need a longer one, you can always get that a longer one, and uh, it'll go reach from the plug to the dock, no problem. It comes with eight different uh, docks here that you can use different iPod, iPhone uh, models has a catalog from Dexum and the manual in, in a variety of languages as well as what comes with this. And of course we have our component cables, which is this is about a six foot long cord, usual component, red, green, blue, white and red for the audio. And the other end is a mini HDMI, which will, uh, which will uh, uh, allow you to play videos in 720i, not 720p, 720i resolution, which is not too bad at all. So with this, you can listen to music through your home stereo, um, you can also use it in a row, you can navigate through your menu and you can select the songs, the videos, you can control the volume, the play, the pause, all using the remote control. The functionality of the remote, I think that it's still, it's still kind of buggy, it takes a while to get used to just because I guess you, when you're using it, you're kind of thinking how the Apple remote would kind of work with like the play, the pause, up and down, you know, navigation with the bolt buttons here. So um, I'll give you guys a demonstration of that in a second to show you on my television how all these pieces come together. Oh, also you can also use this to uh, view photos on your television as well. So like I said, 720i resolution, which is not too bad. Um, my television, for some reason or not another, would all, all automatically format to 480p. And uh, I'm gonna do a demo, I'm gonna give you guys a demonstration of using this with my television. Um, even though my TV tells me it's 740, it's 480p, um, one, of the video, one of the video clips I'm gonna be showing you guys is actual 720, I know for a fact, it's, it's actually 1080. Um, it's only gonna show 720 on the TV though, but it's, it's really sharp. Even though my television, it has a little, a little uh, uh, message that pops up that says 480 when I play it. And then I'll show you a clip that's 480, which is sample footage of, of my girls playing in the playground. And um, that's, it's, obvious, it's obviously 480, and it's a little bit more, the quality of the video is a little more degraded and a little more pixelated, so. Let's go ahead and jump over to my, uh, my television, and let's go ahead and give you a dem demonstration of uh, how this product works. All right, guys, so now we're inside my room with my 32-inch uh, HD television here, and I'm going to stream some video for you here from my iPhone to the AV dock. So first, these are two just demo footage here. One is a 480 video, one is an actual 720. So this is the 720 video right here. Let's go ahead and watch this clip real quick, and I'll show you. So it tells you it is streaming a 480p on the, on the television. But the quality is very sharp, very crisp. It looks really good. Um, it don't, it, I, I mean, in my opinion, if you didn't tell me it was 480, I'd believe it was 720. So it does look very sharp, real high quality. Let me give you another example. And this is, let me show you the remote here. So if I press pause the video, if I want to go back to the menu, let's jump back to the menu right here, as you can see. And let's go back to one of the, uh, the top videos. So this is some other sample footage. Press play. I'm sorry, press OK. Also 480p as it shows up on here with the component. This video is a lot more blurry, a lot more, a little more, uh, the edges of it are a lot more pixelated. I'm not sure if you can tell through the camera right here. So this footage is a lot more fuzzier than what I was just showing you before with my sample footage. Once again, you can control the audio with the remote right here. You can pause it, you can play it, and you can go back to the menu when you're done with it and you can scroll through any other clips or any other videos you may have uh, on, your, on your iPhone or iPod touch. So right now guys, I'm showing you, this is off of YouTube. This is my, one of my YouTube videos from CES, and the quality of this is super sharp. It pretty much looks like 720. I'm not gonna quote it or not, but it, it is very sharp. It looks very nice on the big screen. Not much pixelated, not much fuzz at all. It's very, very good colors. And so this is uh, streaming directly from YouTube as well. Keep in mind, when you are using YouTube, the functionality of the remote is pretty limited. There's not too much you can do with it. You can't raise the volume up and down like you're normal. But uh, you, can, you can pause it as well. But besides that, there's not much else you can, like scroll through different videos, that kind of thing. And I believe you can go back if I'm 
no, nope, I don't think you can go back either. So yeah, so the limit you're limited pretty much when it comes to uh, YouTube videos using the remote control, but you are able to stream them onto the TV. Since I know everyone's going to ask me, guys, if this does stream Netflix, this does indeed allow you to stream Netflix from your iPhone to your television. So you can see Netflix up here. It's only doing it 480p, and I'm just going to play a quick uh, video for you right here, real fast. You can control the audio as well for Netflix. So you can see it does look a little pixelated, kind of fuzzy. And some of the footage. Uh, now keep in mind I am streaming through 3G, so I'm not sure if, if I was going through Wi-Fi right now, if I was streaming Wi-Fi, um, if it would be a little bit sharper. But uh, you know, for the most part, just the fact that you're able to, to go straight from Netflix on your iPhone to a full screen TV is still pretty nice and you can pause it as well with the remote. So you are able to uh, stream Netflix from your iPhone using the AV dock from Dexum to uh, HD television. So guys, hopefully you found the demonstration uh, useful and kind of showed you uh, the usability and how this product actually works on the television. Keep in mind guys, there are some other devices that do something similar to this, sim similar to this especially with component cables that don't involve a dock, but keep in mind when you do have the dock, this will power up your iPhone while you're watching videos. You, as you guys know, watching two hours of movies will drain your battery pretty pretty quickly on an iPhone. So this will make sure that you can also keep it charged while you're watching videos. But on the plus side to that too is if you use the, the sync cable with it, you can actually uh, sync it, use this, this dock uh, on the side of your bed to charge up your iPhone, or you can hook up to your, your uh, computer and sync it, use it as a charging and syncing dock as well. So kind of a dual function there. So guys, you guys can purchase this product at Dexum.net on their website. And uh, that's going to be it for me today, guys. If you happen to own uh, this product yourselves, why don't you go ahead and tell us what your experience has been with it. How have you enjoyed, have you enjoyed using the AV dock station as much as I have? Hopefully you have, and I hope to hear from you guys very soon. And I'll be coming back with you guys with another video in the near future. Talk to you later.